All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all the praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to your apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahashem. Is in the name of Kaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the hundred and forty-four thousand men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shem El Shai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening at all truth and the sincerity Shalom. This is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem El Shai. And the title of this video, Lord Willem, is going to be uh we're making a great sacrifice. All right, um, and what sparked me to do this video a couple of days ago, I seen a, it was an interview from uh, Derek Rose, NBA player, you know, and he uh, he was saying, you know, regular people make, uh, make regular sacrifices, you know, but great people, you know, make great sacrifices, man. You know, and he went on and he was saying like a regular sacrifice is something like, yeah, I'm a, you know, so if you like trying to make it to the, trying to make it in, in the league, yeah, I'm a, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, and and not go out on weekends, you know, you know, that's a regular sacrifice, you know, but to make a great sacrifice, you know, uh, working out every day, you know, uh, even in, in the rain, you know, it doesn't matter what type of weather, you know, you're gonna get it done. He said he was shoveling snow, just so he can play play in the driveway, you know he was making great sacrifices, doing things that that make you uh, that make you look crazy at the moment, okay? But you know it's for a greater it's for a, a greater uh, outcome, and that's what we're doing, you know, because we're uh, we look crazy in the eyes of the people, okay? You know, because they think that because they're 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 really making no account of our labor. Let me ask you to start there. And uh Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Wisdom of Solomon chapter five, verse four says, We fools accounted his life his life madness uh and his end to be without honor. Uh let me do read the first verse. It says, Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before such before the face of such as have afflicted him. And made no account of his labors. So, two two thirds of our people, you know, that they're, they're looking at us crazy, you know, but they're not making any account of our labors. You know, the fact that we are we we are making great. You have to make great sacrifices in this truth to obtain salvation. All right, you know, because we sacrifice. You know, uh, we sacrifice what we could be doing on weekends, you know, and even certain weekdays, all right, we've sacrificed things that we like to do in the flesh, you know, for the sake of pleasing the Lord, okay? We, we're making great sacrifices, man. You know, even if you've been in the NBA, NFL, okay, you, you, you stop that, you know, so you can serve the Lord, because you can't, you can't really serve the Lord, go out to the highways and byways if you're, you know, in these big leads, man. You have to make a great sacrifice to obtain salvation, you know. So what he was saying to make a great sacrifice, Derek Rose was saying to make a great sacrifice, you know, to make it to the league, you know, we have to take that same mentality in a spiritual aspect, making that great sacrifice to enter, you know, into the chariots, man, to receive salvation. From Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. Verse 2 it says, When they see it, they shall be ter troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. You know, so them calling us crazy, you know, extremists, uh, radical hate groups crazy just yelling on uh just yelling on the street corners you know 
a proverb of 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 reproach, man. All right, they uh, they they look at us as a shameful act, man. Like, what are you guys doing? You look stupid. You're making us look bad. It says, verse four. This is what they're gonna say: We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor, man. Okay, they they count our life madness, man. Like, y'all. Y'all wasting y'all time, man. Hey, YOLO, man. Get to this money. Get this bag. You know, but at the end of the day, all that is going to fail, man. Okay? You trusting in uncertain riches. You trusting that America is going to thrive forever, man. America is circling the drain, man. Whether you people can see it or not, America is circling the drain. Okay? You'll be lucky. You know, things could pop off. This year, everything is in motion for things to pop off this year, man. Could be this winter, next year, man. Okay? Only if that, only a few years left of Babylon, if that, man. Two, three, if that, man. And Lord willing, it's sooner, man. Okay? But this place is circling the drain, man. If you can't see it. Then the Lord has blinded you from the prophecies. Because that's how you can see that this place is falling. The prophecy. All right. You got the uh, the biggest prophecy. The the uh, the Karagma. Revelations 13 and 16. 18. 16 through 18 on down, man. All right. That's being implemented, man. Digital currency. All right. But let me get. The precepts I had here for this great sacrifice that we're doing. This is uh Sirach or Ecclesiasticus chapter 35 and verse 3 it says to depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord and to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation propitiation alright propitiation uh, let me look it up real quick forgot what it meant pro It says, appease and render favorable. Atonement. All right. A day of atonement is coming up. Atoning for our sins, man. It says, to depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord. That's what we're doing. We're departing from wickedness. Okay. We're departing from the ways of this world. Smoking weed. Okay. We're departing from getting lineups. We're sacrificing that, man. You know? We've sacrificed uh, different types of jobs, man. Okay? If they're trying to make us violate the law, statutes, commandments, all right, you know, then we're not going to go with it, man. It says to depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord, and to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation. Propitiation. Right, it's an honorable, favorable thing. It says. Thou shalt not appear empty before the Lord, for all these things are to be done because of the commandment. The offering of the righteous maketh the altar fat, and the sweet savour thereof is before the most high. The just of a the sacrifice of a just man is acceptable, and the memorial thereof shall never never be forgotten. Alright, so our sacrifices that we're doing unto Yahabashim Al Shah is acceptable, man. All right, because Lord willing, we we are the we are of that elect, man. All right, you know we we are viewed uh, blameless in the eyes of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. You know, so us land, uh, we are putting our bodies on the line. Got that in Romans twelve and one. It says, "I beseech you, brethren." Beseech means to beg, plead. It says, "Brethren, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High." That you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. So we're making our bodies a living sacrifice, man. All right, we're going out to the highways and byways. Okay, we're standing out there uh, three, sometimes four hours, man. All right, you know we're doing diligent studies. You know we may. 
You may have been working all day. You still going to come home, study, and, and, and spend some time with the Lord every day, man. These are great sacrifices that we're doing, man. We're sacrificing celebrating birthdays. You know, we're sacrificing celebrating these wicked pagan holidays, you know, for the sake of, of appeasing our family and so-called friends, man. Okay? We're throwing that all on the line, you know, so we can uh, have favor to Yahweh Bashim al -Shah. And verse 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by, by the renewing of your minds. You know, you know. so we are renewing our mind to, to operate uh, righteously. It says that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So, all right, so we're trying to uh, prove to Yah Bashim Yah Shah that we that we deserve salvation, man. That's what we're doing. We're pushing to please Yah Bashim Yah Shah so we can obtain salvation, man. All right, because only the Lord knows who's His elect is at the end of the day. You know, the Scripture says that we have no remembrance of former things, man. All right, so we don't know if we were those men of old, you know, of the elect, man. All right, we're Lord willing, man. And let me get uh, Revelations. Uh, actually, let me get Matthew. Matthew 10 and 39. Matthew 10 verse 39 says, He that findeth his life shall lose it. And he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. He that findeth his life. You know, you trying to be established in this society, man. You're going to lose your life, man. Okay. You know, if you think yourself established, the Lord is going to uh, strip that away, make you bare. Then you're not going to have anything, man. Okay. Because you're not going to be gifted with eternal life. It says, He that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. Find that, find that eternal life, man. Okay. All right, we're not trying to save our life on this side, man. We're willing to lose it, all right? We're willing to, to have no lives on this side, man, all right? Giving up the things of the flesh, man, all right? Because we understand that there's, there's another life past Babylon, man, okay? People are trying to chase these five, ten-year uh, uh, American dream plans, man, okay? They're investing, investing their time into that, and not investing their time into the Lord. And and we, and we are in the la in the last days, man. So you're gonna find out, you know, that you wasted your time, man. What what did uh, King Solomon say, in uh, in Ecclesiastes? Everything under the sun is vanity, man. It all don't mean nothing. Only thing that our whole and what did he end it off with uh, in Ecclesiastes twelve and thirteen? The con this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments. This is our purpose on earth, man. Not for you to go to school and and be a uh, and be a lawyer, okay? And uh, locking up Jake, you know, and you getting paid thousands and millions of dollars, you know. You think that's your life's purpose, man? Your life purpose is to serve the Lord, man. Keep his commandments, man. Fear the most high and keep his commandments. That's all that's our purpose. You know, so anything outside of that, that's just that's that's just something extra. Really a distraction, you know, but you know that we gotta we gotta get our daily bread here in Babylon, man. Okay, so your job, that's just something, you know, to keep you by while you're in Babylon, man. That's not your sole purpose on this earth, man, is to serve Esau, man. Or our sole purpose is to serve Yahweh Bashmi al Shah. All right? And for be the Lord's will, I'm going to wrap it up with this. This is uh, Revelation chapter 8, starting at verse 3. It says, And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints extended up before the most high out of the angel's hand okay so our 
Our prayers are acceptable and sweet savor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshai when you're doing his will. Okay, when you're keeping his laws, as his commandments to the best of your ability. All right, and and and, uh, and, and inside the laws, that's his commandments. That's that's if you're a man, that's you teaching his word. All right, that's it. that's you going out to the highways and byways. That's you doing his less doing these lessons, man. So this word can be preached across the four corners of the earth, man. That's your duty, man, as a man. Okay, I don't know. And as a woman, you for you to uh, fall in line under your man. Okay, be subject unto your man as as we are subject unto Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay. You know? So we're making that great you want to make you want to be making that great sacrifice before the Lord. In the time of Jacob's trouble, you don't want to think, man, I could I should have sacrificed more. I should have I should have took the Lord serving the Lord more seriously, man. Make no tearing, man. Get your shit together. You know, and that goes for myself first and foremost, man. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close and give all praise, honor, and glory. Let's do unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next lesson I say, Shalom, and a Baba Ball, Shalom.